how Hall effect works in n-type and p-type semiconductors. Hall effect in n-type semiconductors. If the magnetic field is applied to an n-type semiconductor, both free electrons and holes are pushed down towards the bottom surface of the n-type semiconductor. Since the holes are negligible in n-type semiconductor, free electrons are mostly accumulated at the bottom surface of the n-type semiconductor. This produces a negative charge on the bottom surface with an equal amount of positive charge on the upper surface. So in n-type semiconductor, the bottom surface is negatively charged and the upper surface is positively charged. As a result, the potential difference is developed between the upper and bottom surface of the n-type semiconductor. In the n-type semiconductor, the electric field is primarily produced due to the negatively charged free electrons. So, the Hall effect produced in the n-type semiconductor is negative. Hall effect in p-type semiconductors If the magnetic field is applied to a p-type semiconductor, the majority carriers, holes and the minority carriers, free electrons, are pushed down towards the bottom surface of the p-type semiconductor. In the p-type semiconductor, free electrons are negligible. So holes are mostly accumulated at the bottom surface of the p-type semiconductor. So in the p-type semiconductor, the bottom surface is positively charged and the upper surface is negatively charged. As a result, the potential difference is developed between the upper and bottom surface of the p-type semiconductor. In the p-type semiconductor, the electric field is primarily produced due to the positively charged holes. So the Hall voltage produced in the p-type semiconductor is positive. This leads to the fact that the produced electric field is having a direction in the positive y-direction. 